Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Empire of Japan. So we ended the last episode after we have eliminated uh, the enemy units in the area of Dong Huang, Quan Zong and Yongying. And we are now attacking from the south into Kuyangzhong, uh, encircling the units that are partway in the south territory of Zhenyuan and Liu Jiang. And I apologize profusely for butchering all of these names. Uh, but by destroying all of these troops here, we're gonna free up quite a lot of troops from uh, the 13th General Army. And uh, that's not to say much because we're already sending uh, the entire 12th General Army north where they're gonna beat an attack into Gaolang, Xining, and Ganliang. So today, hopefully, we're gonna continue with that. The pressure on China is once again uh, increasing as uh, we have secured quite a lot of oil we're importing a ton of it we are uh, actually mining a lot of it on the territories that we have gained borneo um well not on malaya i don't think there's anything in malaya but on borneo uh in sumatra and now we're taking java and uh, that is going to be very useful for us i actually think that yeah we're getting 34 oil from borneo and we're getting 20 from uh, Sumatra and there's still 18 over here to be gained so we'll see how it's gonna go however if you look here uh, while I was uh, making some tea and checking um, around I noticed that we're losing a ton of fuel so I went ahead and I was like what's going on what is going on and I found out that in the eastern Micronesia our main fleet, together with six destroyers of the Japanese light fleet, were fighting the main, and I'm thinking this is the main enemy fleet, or the main American fleet. Uh, they actually retreated uh, all of their ships, and, uh, well, I mean, all of their ships, the, the core of their main fleet, uh, the five carriers. Actually, I don't know why these are green and this one is blue carrier into more not sure the lexington the saratoga the ranger yorktown and oh the enterprise was here okay and the wasp over here the four white cruisers five white cruisers and 25 and 13 so 30 destroyers three heavy cruisers and five battleships new mexico north carolina colorado mississippi and west virginia however they didn't retreat before we managed to sink a cruiser uss astoria three destroyers broom goldsboro and barney and one escort sanderling we ourselves lost one destroyer the fubuki actually the famed fubuki uh, there's still a bunch of ships here, so we can see maybe right now if some of these are gonna get sunk. Yep, one of the destroyers was sunk. Oh, and we caught them immediately again. <laughs> okay, in another fight. So we're just, just gonna let them go. But look at that. Uh, we have lost... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we have lost a lot of carrier fighters. And carrier closer support and 15 carrier bombers, but we lost only one destroyer. And they lost carrier, five destroyers, one escort, four bombers, and two fighters. And there is a second fight happening right now that started. Yep, and their carriers are already disengaging. Okay. So Ace Pilot promoted. Oh, this is nice. We have sunk USS West Virginia and USS Minneapolis and the Warrington and Trevor destroyers. And quite a lot of their ships are already disengaging. Actually, all of them with the exception of the USS Trenton, the White Cruiser and the destroyer 
a wrecked field. No, now they're all disengaging. Oh, look at that. This is wonderful. This is beautiful. It's worth every piece of fuel that we're investing in it. Let me just ta check on the tanks, how they're doing. They're doing great. Okay, no need to doubt them. Good. So we can continue to watch this unfold in Micronesia. Can we sink some of these cruisers? Nope. Oh, hey! <laughs> they actually have been forced on a cruiser and four destroyers. Well, those might have a bad day ahead of them. Yeah, Houston is getting just bombarded. Received 140 white damage, 27 from white guns, 24 from heavy guns, 88 by naval bombardment. It shut down one of the bombers, though. 11% Oh, it got away! It just got away. But we caught them again. So in this engagement, we lost 19 fighters, 2 carrier, close air support, and 50 naval bombers, and 1 destroyer. Oh no, that's the old one, okay. So the second one... This was the Battle of Kvajalain. And in the second one... Oh snap, look at that, there was the battleship, a heavy cruiser, 11 destroyers, and 9 bombers, and 7 fighters. And we lost... 14... 26 carrier... no, 26 and 28. That's 54 carrier bombers. And 22, you have a bleeding out aircraft, but they lost a battleship, a heavy cruiser, 11 destroyers. And the battle is yet again commencing. We're engaging them again. And we already sank a destroyer. Synthetic oil focus has been finished. Good. So when I Find where that is. Okay. Synthetic. Yeah, we need the improved oil plant for that. Um, okay. Torpedo cruisers. We will dedicate a whole class of ships to carrying a huge number of our new torpedoes, enabling them to wreak havoc to the enemy fleet. So we get torpedo cruiser design. I really improved after war and advanced and create Kitakami class. Okay, let's see what that is about. Yep, and our carriers are retreating. We got a, we got reinforced here actually. Yep, they lost another battleship, the USS Mississippi, the US Indiana Polis cruiser, and three more destroyers were sunk. And we got concentrated industry 5. That is just lovely. Concentrated industry 5 gives us, what, 30%? 30% factory output. How amazing is that? And we need to get this one. The foreign labor. Which is going to give us 0.5 extra percent of population available. But it's gonna lower down and factory output. But it's gonna lower the base growth and retention and repair speed of the factories. But it's not an issue. 195 days. Maybe construction 5 would be better though at this point. Hmm. No, this is gonna give us manpower. So let's get that for labor. Okay, so there was the white cruiser, the Trenton, six destroyers, the Lichtfield, Cushing, Liri, J. Fred Talbot, Halfield, and Warden, cruiser Indianapolis, and USS Mississippi.
we are literally demolishing them here but I mean look at that for, in exchange for our planes but I'll exchange those planes for their ships any day 56 fighters Jesus Christ you know we're gonna cry when these come back uh, but they are crying right now because they lost all of those ships yeah, look at that. Their ships, they have like 160 ships left. Okay, and what's happening in here? I've been ignoring that. Five and seven convoys, ten convoys, seven, seven, and there's another shooting spree happening over here. Okay, how's our operations going on here? Okay, very good. We've actually, you can do this. You can do this. Okay, so stop doing that and actually go over here, and we're gonna encircle them. You're gonna go over here, and then three of you are gonna go this way, and the two of you this way. How's it looking here? Uh, you are out of fuel. Okay, well, once you get there, we'll saw this port and we'll fix that issue. Okay, well, our naval fleet is engaging yet again with them yeah they're running away look at that another cruiser two destroyers okay we lost Shirakumo a destroyer Isaruku Yamamoto gained experience well no kidding with what you're doing here ground under Season spotter, spotting speed, escort efficiency. Yeah, safety first. Chance to receive critical hit lowered by twenty five percent. Never tearing them to pieces. Look at that. They just lost another heavy cruiser, the USS San Francisco, USS St. Louis, a light cruiser, 10 destroyers, and a bunch of aircraft. I mean, we lost a destroyer and a huge amount of aircraft, but this is just insane. Uh, but some of our ships are heavily damaged. Yeah, it's not going to be fun if we hit them again, which we just did. They're slower than us, so they cannot run. How are their carriers doing? Yeah, they're already hurt pretty badly. So expanded operatives management. Yep, we're getting an extra operative. Good. That is going to be good for us. Uh, let's go with... Commando training, I like that one. Okay, here goes the destroyers. I wish we could sing some of their carriers, that would be just the best, but we're chipping at their destroyers and cruisers. Yeah, Houston has been sunk and three more. Destroyers issue an ultimatum. I just want to see that we're. Please tell me. Automatic split off is enabled. Ne what the. Never repair. Repair priority high, guys. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, so they lost five destroyers, a light cruiser, and that's that. Yep, and now we are going to repair.
we will let the rest of them go. We've done enough. And I'd rather not to lose any of my ships than to sink one more of theirs and start taking casualties because we have decimated their fleet. That is crazy. We've sank so many ships. Uh, now they're going to come and repair, which is fine. Look at that. Uh, but it's well worth it. It is well worth it. Nine, five. <laughs> yeah, it is worth saying they're losing the war. Okay, you guys are still getting no bonus from. Ex Wait, are you getting experience free? Or you're not? I need to check that. If not, then I'm gonna send you all to the uh, first fleet. Okay, guys, do this. This is the next stage of the plan. This is how we are eliminating the next level of enemy forces, or next bunch of enemy forces. Okay, you are almost there, guys. Okay, so what's left of the first fleet? 35 ships, all of our carriers. Okay, we really need to upgrade Hosho and Ryujo. These are very poor. Yeah, and look at that. Oh no! Ha! Huh, we still have enough <laughs> carrier fight. Wow, we depleted almost every f every single carrier fighter that we had, but we still managed to replenish them. Good. Well, that is a good thing. Okay, another submarine. And you guys are not yeah, you're not getting any experience. So we'll just assign all four of you uh, to the first fleet. And because we are repairing here, uh, that is fine. And we're gonna put more Yokohama class cruisers for production. I want to build four more, actually, six more. One for each, well, two for each fleet, basically. And the Isekos will be refitted soon, and even the Shinanos are gonna come soon. Which would be a good opportunity for us to actually retire Hosho and Ryujo and put them on the second and third fleet, which have no carriers now. Okay, Germany cancelled their non aggression pact with us, and I don't know why. But I don't really mind. So, this Rikusantai, third Rikusantai. Hmm. Someone mentioned this a long time ago that uh, units they are named after cities. So, if we're gonna call you Nagoya Rikusantai, just to make Nagoya Rikusantai, and we'll send you to Nagoya. He sinks some of their transports. Oh, this is lovely. This is just lovely. Goodbye, mechanized division. It's gonna take you 18 days to get there. That is absolutely bonkers. I think it might not be worth waiting for that, but oh well. Okay. 
Okay, you can actually go in here with your rail. So can you, because we don't need you over there. Yep, they're toast. Torpedo cruisers. So let me go with... Repair the fleet. Strike on Southern. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's go with repair the fleet, whatever that means. Well, we might need to strike our enemy soon, so the fleet needs to be ready and at full strength. How the hell was I supposed to get this <laughs> in time? So we get 48 fighters, and 46 nav bombers, and 46 closer support bombers. Okay. Well, that's going to help. Significantly. Okay, what's going on? Coast of Japan. There's an enemy submarine here. Okay, Central China is the Micronesia, Celebes Sea, and Bismarck Sea. Yeah, well, we know they're taking this area, but it's fine. And we really need to start sending some uh, some of you guys to. Yeah, this is bothersome. Uh, we need to create another fleet that's gonna hunt enemies around our. Uh, around our coast. Kitakame class. Jesus. Well. This kind of torpedo attack though, it's really not bad, but why would we build the early one? We'd have to design it for the advanced. Ah, well. Oh. Oh, oh no. Wow. We are almost out of food. Jesus. Okay, China, hit me up with food. Is ought to do it. Come on. Yeah. Okay, well, thank God I noticed that before we started bleeding out. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speak of the devil, we just sank four of their subs. Okay, well, wish and you will be given. Okay, and we're taking a good long here, which means we are going to launch an attack here at you guys in two days and two hours. Okie dokie. So what are we missing? Uh, I wish this said what kind of tank we are producing because I think we might be duplicating our construction here because I wanted to refit some of the older tanks and I think I forgot to cancel it. You can convert. You can also convert. And you can convert. Okay. So let us uh, do a little bit of conversion here. In the meantime. Okay. Situation with heavy artillery and medium artillery is improving. That is good news. 
Amphibious isn't though, so the next factor is going to Amphibious. Mountain Warfare, okay, and we are almost done equipping everyone with the handheld anti-tank. And we could redesign someone or something. Because we do have a ton. I mean, a ton of things here. I guess we don't really have what to design. Hold on, the officer core. Yeah, we don't have the last one. Static warfare entrenchment. Uh, flexible organization. Oh, we can't. Smoke and fire. Victory or death. Reserve officers. Okay, let's get the static warfare. Entrenchment and entrenchment speed. That's good. I mean, it can't hurt anyway. So, how much longer? Just please tell me they won't block us. They won't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I think we'll be able to attack soon. Oh, what the hell happened here? They're back. Their five carriers are back with five destroyers and a ton of aircraft. Snap, they actually hit us really heavily here. Okay, we're fighting him over here. Mm, where is that? F oh, wow, well, that's very far. Okay, and they're, they are over here now. Where are you going? Over here? It's a little bit bizarre. Yeah, with these carriers, it's... Damn it. Okay, we're going to engage them. Do we have any air force in here? We don't. We do have an airfield here, though. Uh, where is... These medium bombers. Oh, I don't think they're gonna get there in time. You will do. And you just missed them. Yeah, they sank five of our ships. Okay, I'm gonna station you temporarily in Manila. And we'll see. That hurt. Okay, you're training here. Yet you engaged an enemy submarine. Okay, that's fair, I guess. 
missing some of their uh, some of their transport ships. You were supposed to win this. I don't understand why you didn't. Okay, this time we're not able to do this. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're gaining fuel. Okay. This is good. Let's just go and push. And attack. I actually need you guys over here. What happened here? Nothing. We're interested in seeing if we will be able to hunt down that carrier fleet. Because they have no screens, nothing. It was simply just carriers and they did quite a lot of damage for just that. Okay, we need more carrier bombers now. Come on, encircle them. Insufficient resource engine production capacity. Okay, well, that can be fixed. That can be fixed easily. Okay, we're back to 55 ships. Repairs are slowly toning down. Okay, Yamato's are being worked on. You're coming in just a couple more months. The ESA class refits are going to be done within a few weeks. Uh, more submarines. Shiratsu's refitting the Tomozuru's. And we're going to start building the Yokohamas. Okay. Reasonable. I would say very reasonable. Okay, and this is unfortunately highly unreasonable because I didn't realize I have any defensive units over here. So we really need to haul to get there in time. Uh, but it's good because they are really toast here. Okay, we focused the strike the USA focus and strike on the resource area. Oh no, actually, the strike the southern resource area was finished and we. Yep, we stroke, struck the USA. Oh, this is really nice. Exploit the southern resource area. We must greatly expand the exploitation of the East Indies abundant resources to nourish our forces. Or, or, or. Box it. And prospect for resources. Well, that's great. Everything except fuel. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, so let's just end this episode by. Pushing all of them from here and making sure that we encircle or finish the encirclement over here. And you guys over here, the 12th General Army, are finally in position. So we can actually start using you.
in fights. Because that is what we want to do. Okay, way too many, so you guys can attack here. Those are mountains, that's fine. Can you arrive in 12, 10, 9, 8, 7? Okay, we can slow you down and we can finish this elimination. Okay, and on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here. We've uh, finished. Another answer command is going to be four, six, seven, eight divisions over here. Can we handle territory? We can. Okay. Nice. Really nice. More territory for them. And those are just boxy deposits, so that's really not that important. But hey, China is growing stronger. Or our China is growing stronger. The Republic of China is growing weaker by the day. They're 84% towards capitulation. We've launched an offensive in the north. Uh, the offensive in the south is working. You will then take this area. And we also wanted to push towards Kunming. Because that is a pretty valuable area than this one. But in the north, this is going to give us quite a lot of points. Well, and in the sea, you saw it yourself, we did quite a lot of good work here. I mean, in the end, they actually hurt us pretty badly too, but nowhere near as bad as we hurt them. So I think we have a course to celebrate. And I'm thinking whether or not I screwed up with pulling my units out of that fight, but I don't think so, because quite honestly, it's better to, you know, keep your units alive than to, you know, sink the enemy and lose some yourself. So yeah, see you in the next episode.